this year is the original Queen Mary's 80th anniversary, so it's only fitting that there's so many of her designs that are inspired and reflected back in Queen Mary II's remastering. With a wealth of deco features and details, it really was a true inspiration. Getting the attention to detail right was really important. Uh, we worked very hard in terms of how to develop carpet patterns and colours, materials, the aesthetic of furniture. We went through many iterations and design development. Queen Mary had a wealth of Art Deco touches that we've worked hard with our designers to incorporate into our new designs. The brief was actually a combination of staying true to Cunard identity as a brand, but also uh, to look back at the Cunard heritage and to inject a lot of elements of the Cunard heritage into our designs. We use a lot of uh, inspiration from Queen Mary through books, uh, archive documentation, especially from Liverpool University, for our designs. I think the greatest challenge has been to introduce still the deco feel but also bring it into more contemporary way. So we've made sure that we've put lots of lovely marbles in there, brass, bronze fittings, and just kept it so it was very contemporary, but also had that level of luxury involved in it as well. I think that what people will feel when they first see Queen Mary II coming out of refit is a great sense of pride. Remastering Queen Mary II is a massive undertaking. I hope the end result is befitting of the greatest liner at sea.